Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's look, we're working with our ColourPop shadows for their summer collection to say who is Huda? Who needs to buy those Huda Beauty minis at $27, $28 a piece? Are they tempting? Absolutely. But look what I have created with the ColourPop. And uh, if you want to see how I got this look, you just keep on watching. Okay, so everybody's having the Huda Beauty craze lately with the neons, and don't get me wrong, I love neons. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my god, I have to have it. However, I had forgotten that I had just purchased some ColourPop, and uh, what do you know, they're all pretty much neon. Now, when I purchased it, I just saw the bright colors and thought summer and wanted to get it and didn't realize how intensely neon they actually are. I don't know if you're a person who thinks that's yellow or green or green yellow. I think that is like lime neon green because I feel like this is more like a soft yellow but this is actually like a neon yellow but it's got a greenish hue to it. I figured why in the world am I going to go spend $27, $28 on a Huda mini palette which don't get me wrong I love her mini palettes and I have a couple of them already but I just bought these. I'm going to go ahead and just do a neon look today and call it Who Needs Huda. No offense Huda I still love you. Well the color scheme I'm thinking I'm like a pink orange yellow just like sunny prettiness. Uh, this hot pink right here, this is called Sandbar. I think I'm gonna dabble in that a little bit. Then we've got uh, this orange called Bratty, and this, the lime green yellow, it's called Keep Scrolling. And then I'll do like a pop of color underneath the eye, probably in a purple, and that is Seeing Stars. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime up my eyes with, as usual, my NYX White Eyeshadow Base. clowning it up. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever. I've just had such a backlog of videos that I've been editing and putting out. Being the end of summer and I have five kids, um, one of them flew back to Texas to be with his father. My other son flew in from Texas and is here with me all summer. The babies obviously and my parents came into town from Texas to visit for a week so it's just been really hectic. Plus, Like I worked 55 hours last week at my job so I haven't been able to film new videos. I've barely been able to put on makeup so that's where we're at today. I'm going to start off by just grabbing my fluffy Wet n Wild brush. Trusty Wet n Wild and I'm going to go into triple zero. Just gonna coat my lid and everything to prevent any further creasing. So let's go to the hot paint bald sandbar, my Vasanti crease brush, and I'm just gonna put that on the edges. Just a little bit of color transition here. deeper into my crease for a more seamless blend. So I'm just gonna start buffing it all into the crease here. So we've got like orange lid, which transitions to the hot pink. All right, so we're gonna definitely have to lighten up the edges with line. And I think I'm just going to bring it into this outer corner while I'm at it. Just kind of add a little bit of depth. Thank you. 
All right, next I'm going to take this very neutral, light, peachy shade called Centerfold. And I'm just gonna take one of my Farrah soft blending brushes and I'm just gonna soften up the bottom. And I'm gonna clean up my eyes, so don't worry about how far down I'm going. I just want to soften up that purple and blend all these together. called Enchantress and I'm just gonna, gonna cut it's not necessarily a cut crease I just really wanted to bring some shimmer to the look and this is a very soft light pink hue that I feel like just brightens up this entire look. Now I'm gonna go back in with some of that purple color and just blend that together. And then I want to go back in with a mixture of the hot pink and the orange just go right above where I placed the Stila. Make that transition pop just a little bit more. Aurora Lights Palette or Aurora Glow Kit. Got all these pretty little shimmers right here. I think I'm gonna go into some Luna, which is just that white shade with a tiny little pencil brush. This one is from NYX. It's just this little point. It is actually a brush. It's not just a point. And I'm just going to dip into that and brighten up my inner corner. I'm bringing my inner corner shimmer up because in here is so deep set. I want that light to reflect and bring my eyes out some to make it more balanced. It's so deep. My eyes are so deep set. It's ridiculous. I'm just gonna bring it up to the inner portion of my brow bone. Because for all you deep set beauties, highlighting the outer portion of your brow bone is not going to do you any favors. You've got to bring the light forward for all of the deep settedness. For my lower waterline, I'm gonna use my NYX Professional Makeup Faux Whites in the shade White Smoke. the way this brightens the eye, but it just doesn't have the staying power. For my top lash line, I'm going to use my Tarte Sex Kitten Liquid Eyeliner. That is it. Let me go ahead and put on my makeup right quick and I'll be right back with my final neon thoughts. All right, so we're back. Here's the finished look after I've put on the rest of my makeup. About to go on throughout our day, aren't we? Yes, my lips, do my lips. And we look ever so pretty. So if you like this ColourPop look, go ahead and check out their uh, website and see what you can find. A lot cheaper than the Huda Minis and that are, I know for a fact, 27 or $28 a piece. I think it pulled off just fine. And until next time, stay curvy, stay cool. So we'll see you in a week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>